What's going on guys? I'm James Sprague. I'm here in Provo, Utah with the peppers, specifically down peppers. <laughs> What's up you guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to hit a bunch of training. We just fueled up with some Ice Age meals. We're getting ready for the semifinals. Me and James are going to hit a workout head to head. Maybe Ethan will jump in. We don't know yet. And then we're going to do a little bit of muscle up work, different training. And then we're going to go go-karting. A lot of good stuff to come from this trip, especially today. Every day with me and Dallin is just head to head. We have a lot of fun here doing stuff besides training too. We just make the most of every moment. So stay tuned, it's gonna be an awesome video. I have a bunch of people here in Utah that came from Seattle, came to school here. So it's always nice to reunite with them. Um, I would say, just the elevation training is super awesome here for me because I'm at like sea level, coming here to like 4,000 feet, always kicks my butt and I know it makes me fitter. So I really enjoy that aspect of just getting buried in the gym. Awesome. <laughs> right, you right, try some of this bro? No, no, I gotta fill the people, the good oh, people. Okay, okay. Gotcha. The best training mix, okay? If you take X Endurance Fuel 5, carbohydrates, good for the entire workout. And then you mix a little lemon lime hydro with it, and you got hydration and fuel through your whole session. Beautiful. James, you can have some. <laughs> You're kidding. No, yeah, I take it. Dry scoop? Dry scoop. Dry, scoop. Dry scooping <laughs> never goes well. I have a bad history with it. I think I shake for like 10 minutes and then I just die out and crash. And <laughs> like, oh, no go. Dallin just has him here. I kind of steal whatever he has here so I don't have to bring as much to Utah. And then vice versa, whenever he comes to Seattle, he steals all my stuff. That's friendship for you. <laughs> and then what I got. Nick, let me get this one. Thanks, buddy. Got you, bro. <sighs> Let's get it. Let's get it, buddy. I'm so excited. Got the keys, huh? Got the keys. Jordan hooked me up. Before we get into this workout, who do you guys think is going to win this workout? We got six rounds for time. 60 foot handstand walk, six bar muscle ups, six clean and jerks at 185. We did this workout three back. Three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. And it was something we just Kicks whipped my together. Butt. So who's going to win? Comment below. What you think before you know. It's gonna be good. That made sense. I'll just say I'm a little bit more sore than he is, so. Hey, confidence is still there though. Confidence <laughs> is key. All right, you guys, we just got to the gym. We're just getting warmed up for this workout. Um, you can watch the entire workout clicking this link, and we're gonna finish up training after, and then after we finish training, we're gonna get all the fun stuff going, so. Good luck, buddy. Kill it. <laughs> Let's debrief it. So, we did the six rounder we talked about earlier, and what did you think of it, Dal? It was, I cut my time like in half when I did it when we were like 15 or something, which I better be faster than when I was 15, but that's something, bar muscle ups under fatigue and handstand walk, something I've been working on a lot. The barbell is obviously my strength, so I was really happy with how that went. I think that that workout was more gymnastics this year than it was three years ago, because three years ago that weight was a lot heavier for us, at least me. And so this time it just came down to who can take less rest in between the movements and who can really be efficient. I tried to really go fast in the handstand walks to take away fatigue so I wasn't as uh, under tension as much. Down's handstand walks where it got me. What was your time? 11.53, I think. I was 13.02, so this guy smoked me. Humble. Ethan's still dead. Ethan did great. Ethan still died. Let's go, bro. Real quick, uh, we're gonna hit some gymnastic strengths. We got vested legless rope climb. We got 45 second AMRAP right into five to seven deficit handstand push-ups, and we'll just hit it for three sets. Those are gonna be kipping. We're gonna go hard. We're gonna keep the intensity as high as we can, but lots of rest. Not so really. This is strength work, guys. Strength. <laughs> Rawr. No flex zone. <laughs>
guys, we just finished up the workout. We hit a quick pump, as you can see. They're still pumping over there. Um, we're gonna go get some food, and then the real fun. No more pain in workouts. You guys ready for some Cafe Rio? Oh, we're so ready. It. It's gonna be eat or be eaten. <laughs> That's what they say. It's, it's Utah. It is. Right, you guys got a lot of good chains. Yeah. There's a lot of good chains here. We don't got Seattle. What's the Seattle favorite? Ooh. Dicks. Dicks Burgers. Dicks Burgers. No joke. It's for real. There's no silliness in that statement. Dicks Burgers. Everyone loves Dicks. <laughs> Cafe Rio. Nice. That's what I do. You're not using them. I'm stealing them. Mm. Yummy. We're going to what I believe is the Se well, second largest indoor go kart track, and ever, yeah, in the world. Mm. And I think it's it's huge. A half mile track. I think so. It could be a mile. Can't remember. But basically, it has three three levels. So you like go around and then you go up and around, up and around. So it's got up and down inside. And you go like 40 miles an hour. It's expensive, but it's gonna be dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. It's wedding week. It's wedding week. Awesome little things on our heads for the helmets. But we're at the grid in Pleasant Grove, Utah, and it's one of the biggest indoor go kart places in the world. And as you can see, it's dope. I lost, but they don't need to know that. You, you were the last. I won in my heart. Hey, I was second to last. Thank you very much. Oh, second to last. Last in the group, right? I. No. I think that's only like count. We were all one. <laughs> all right now, big guy's getting his okay. time on the throne. So this is how the night ended. Yeah, Ethan, Ethan took a won. big dub and. Okay, I'm done holding them now. So yeah, you Ethan, you're not that your special. Your well, winning. anyway, he only beat me by one second, and I could come up with a whole bunch of excuses. Excuses. But, but we just lost. But he's better. We just <laughs> lost. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like practice? Shake like, my hand. Where do you practice at, man? Here. I come here in this every, basement. Every day. Yeah. He drives the little cars around. Yep. You know where Ethan, I play on my Hot Wheels every day. We know where all of Ethan's bank account money has gone. In That's this right. Place, right? <laughs> so I don't have crypto. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows about Dogecoin, hit us up. <laughs> um, I love it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, um, maybe next time we'll, we'll show Nick working out a little bit more. This dude's huge. This dude was pumping Big today. Game. He's, Big he's game. feeling it. He's going to feel those chesticles tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Okay, well. bye. Yeah. <laughs>